Hey, what's up everybody? So I did a video the other day and what happened was I used a sequence and that editor used sync locks. And it makes me want to do this rant about why I never use sync locks. Sync locks and I understand if you get used to it and you're editing for a long time with it, it's a very hard habit to break. You don't want things to get out of sync. People have told me they've done edits and their whole sequence got out of sync and it took them, it was very embarrassing. Maybe they were in front of a producer and stuff and they never wanted it to happen again. So they use sync locks, but sync locks, and I say this with kindness and encouragement, sync locks are like training wheels on a bike. If you're mountain biking through the woods, you don't want to have training wheels. You want to be able to go fast and drink more beer. And you'll be able to go faster if you don't use sync locks. There are two main reasons why. Now, you can toggle them on and off. Thank God I can do this very easily for when I take other editor sequences that use sync locks. I'm shocked by how many editors do. But look at this situation here. Say I wanted to open up this VO 10 frames. I wanted to add a beat in the middle here. So I'm going to load filler. I put in 10 frames. I'm going to V it in and everything moves, not just V2. So I would have to, in theory, unsync lock it. What do I do? Or, or I forget how you do it. Do I just release two? Okay, right. So I would take off two, load the filler, add it. And then put it back, remember to put it back on. I mean, completely waste of time. Instead, what I'm dealing with is just the tracks. If I want to load filler on something, on this track or that track, I just pick which track I want to do. And that track moves. I have complete flexibility of what track I want to do. I don't have to worry about sync locks. I'm just worried about this one piece. Now, the other part is cutting. So the same thing. Let's say I had this... VO and there was, I don't know, too much space here in between these two VOs and I wanted to cut it back. I'm not going to go into segment mode, click on this, click one, two, three, four at a time. I'm not going to do that. Way too much time. I'm just going to go in here, mark it in and out, one frame, X, one frame, X, one frame, X, listen to it, right? All right, now this is the piece I like. But if I did that with sync locks on and I go here and I want to go one frame X, <laughs> everything cuts. Why? I don't need that. So the two things to be careful of, because you're going to say, well, I keep sync locks on for a reason. I don't want anything to get out of sync. You have to master the ability of control A and control shift A. Control A, control shift A. So that's what highlights all the tracks. So when you are in a case where I do want to take 10 frames out of everything, I can easily hit control A, right? It's not about, it's, now everything's in sync. When I hit control A, everything is in sync. When I don't need all the tracks in sync, I can hit Control Shift A and they're all off. So I just want to show you something as a habit of what I do when I'm logging footage, making a string out of, of cuts and sequence and stuff. I'll be playing stuff down and then I'm just going to mark it in and out, let's say, and then I wanted to get rid of that to Control A, X, Control Shift A. So I'm constantly doing that. And that's the way I do my string outs. Now, this is in a case where I have multiple tracks. If I only had the three tracks for every piece, I wouldn't have to do that. But it's just that idea of, yes, I want everything to go back in sync, but it's so quick when I do control A, control shift A. Hopefully that will release you from being stuck with sync locks, which again, I really do think this, and I, I kind of hope you get insulted it's, it is like riding a bike with training wheels. When I see an editor with sync locks, I think to myself, they're so much slower than me. They don't have enough time to drink beer like we do, right? Like I do and like you do. And what am I going to drink this week? I don't know. I got to go to the beverage barn. I got to wear a mask. I got to wear gloves. I got to look. I'm, 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 I'm using this time to just experiment and try different beers. Hopefully something hoppy. Something, something tropical. I like mosaic style IPAs the best. And I hope everybody's doing safe. And I hope we get back to normal in this world soon and edit it with each other in person and drink with each other in person. That would be great. A blue collar post collective meetup would be like a dream come true right about now. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, please. And I'll see you in the next video.